follow-up question is does do unbelievers have spiritual gifts Ilya Depends. your thoughts if I can jump in here yeah I uh, I believe that we need to first understand and differentiate between spiritual abilities and and spiritual gifts my personal belief is that uh, as a human being we are made out of a spirit soul and body and and on Christians they also have spirit and because we have spirit our spirit has spiritual eyes and spiritual ears it has spiritual senses and so people on Christians can develop spiritual abilities meaning spiritual their spiritual senses are awakened and and they train their soul to recognize their spiritual abilities and 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 they 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 um through their will through their soul they're able to <clears throat> master certain aspect of spiritual abilities um so i believe that uh, non-believers they don't have the gifts of the spirit but they do have um they could develop a spiritual ability and yeah, that's, that's why we see that's that's why we see some some non-believers even experience certain spiritual phenomena mm -hmm. or even experience certain things whether it's through dreams through trances even an an, an an ability to see in the spirit and hear in the spirit sense in the spirit to a certain extent but this is where most unbelievers when they start developing these spiritual senses realize that they hit a ceiling and they start looking into other means to help them enhance their spiritual abilities, which usually end up being demonic. Uh, other spiritual meditations, they invite demons to enhance um, their spiritual abilities and they partner with, with demonic powers. But no, I don't believe that otherwise um, they can have the gifts of the spirit that we know as Christian um, being unbelievers. They only come that that's only uh, for those that are believers. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 16 verse 16 kind of confirms what Pastor Ilya was saying and I'll just read it from the Bible it says one day as we were going down to the place of prayer we met a slave girl who had a spirit that enabled her to tell the future she earned a lot of money for her masters by telling fortunes so uh, she connected to the wrong spirit so if, if we open if unbelievers open themselves up to demons uh it's obviously they're operating in 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 the wrong 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 direction but mm -hmm. they were using evil spirits to predict the future when we yeah. become christians we you must understand that every person has a spirit just mm -hmm. because as a, as a non-christian your spirit is not non-existent your spirit is dead in the sense that it's not connected to god but it doesn't mean that it's not real or your spirit doesn't have doesn't function or it's like it's like lying in a grave it's still being used it still connects to the spiritual realm it's just disconnected from God and so when God comes into your life he resurrects your spirit it's not that your spirit was non-existent before or didn't function it's just it was annihilated and removed from God so your spiritual abilities could be completely cultivated to connect with the demonic realm and receive information and give information and really uh, really be used uh, by the enemy and operate and do ma magic do miracles and do all of this stuff and then your soul you know yields to that as well because it's really those things are done through the spirit they're not done through the soul and even though you're completely far away from God but those are not the same as being receiving gifts of the Holy Spirit and those are not the same as being used of the Holy Spirit. Rickard do you have anything to say yeah. on that? Yeah I think it's very interesting that if you would google the word healing today you would actually not get spiritual like Christ-filled healing. When you Google healing, a lot of new age things come up as well. Reiki healing, uh, chakras and doing different kind of new age practices, you know. And, and uh, I, I believe that the devil is a counterfeit. I don't think that he has creativity in him because God is the creator and there's no sense, no, 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 even a particle of God in the devil. So if God is a creator and he is creative, then the devil has none of that. 
All he can do is copy paste. So many of the gifts of the spirit, you may see something that seems similar, mm -hmm. uh, just like just like the people in Egypt. Pharaoh asked his magicians, hey, can you do the same thing as as Moses and Aaron are mm -hmm. doing? And they could do it to a certain degree. There was some counterfeit there. But the problem is when, when anyone accesses the spirit world like this uh, through demonic powers, it normally affects the person themselves because they have to engage in some sort of a covenant. Many times the people who practice these things, at least my experience from people involved in witchcraft and so on, is that they suffer from chronic sicknesses. They suffer from early death many times and mm -hmm. other kind of afflictions that attacks their family because... They're trying to access the spirit world through by the means of demonic powers to counterfeit what God has for his people. So, so it's important as believers not to be fooled or deceived just because, oh, this person said they used stones or crystals and she's feeling better in her body afterwards. Yeah, maybe she's feeling better in her body, but something else, because a principle that I go by is, uh, if the devil gives you something with his right hand, he will take something that your life depends on with his left. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like playing you all the time to where you get stuck in this cycle of affliction and torment either uh, 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 at the end of the day. So the only way that you can really uh, access these gifts and receive it freely is mm -hmm. through the Holy Spirit because someone already paid the price, which was Jesus Christ. Yeah, and a lot of times like in the, in the occult so world, you either pay you know, to, to get activated in that stuff or, or some people like even we're seeing in the comments right now, people saying from the young age, they started to get these uh, particular, um, you know, inclinations or they started to get these dreams or started to know information. And so that uh, in, in itself, you just must understand even before you're born again, you have a spirit and your spirit was created to connect with the spirit realm your soul is connected to the to the emotional to the to the physical you connect with your soul to other people and your body connects you to the world and so just because you're even disconnected from god it doesn't mean that you don't have the ability to connect to the spirit realm and the devil will use the fact that you are disconnected from the realm of the Lord through Jesus and you're disconnected from that but you still long to be connected to the spirit realm and so he will bring you the counterfeit, he will bring you the fake, he will bring you the um, the parts that will yeah, look yeah. real and in fact they will be real in themselves that yeah it will be a healing, yes information will be accurate but the source of it when it's not rooted in, in, in the gospel, when it's not rooted in Jesus, when it's not rooted in the scripture, you, you are operating from another realm and then sooner or later the devil who is behind that, he only has one agenda and that is to kill, steal and destroy. And people who go to psychics, people who go and read horoscopes, people who try to get information from these other sources or who are the channels for those sources, you must understand is that you're being used by the enemy and the enemy will hurt you. He will um, steal, kill and destroy. And even if on the outside through law of attraction, through law of all this stuff, you know, connecting with universe and all of that and you feel like, oh, but I'm getting more money. I'm getting more famous. I'm getting more peace. Um, honestly, that is not how we judge whether something is true or not. Is it leading you to Jesus? Is it leading you to holiness? Is it leading you to righteousness through the blood of Jesus Christ? Because this devil can give you all of that and he can take you to hell. Uh, but at the same time, usually all of these blessings that he gives, um, they have an expiration, expiration time and they have a very huge price. I remember one guy came, started coming to our church and um, his mom took him he had a he had a paralysis if i'm mistaken if not mistaken it was in africa she took him to um rayhard bonkey's um no so in the beginning what she did is she took him to the native doctor so uh, which was like a witch doctor in africa this witch doctor did some ceremony on him and um, this paralysis actually was gone he was completely healed of paralysis as a boy and then um some two weeks later he starts to develop swelling in his knees now this is him saying this to me because I personally didn't believe when he said that. The swelling got so big that there were holes developed in his knees. His knees got so big he couldn't walk. So now he didn't have a paralysis but he was completely not able to walk. He said, mice were coming out from the swelling in his knees. 
And I was like, bro, this this oh. can't be. I was like, I don't believe in this stuff. And he's like, he's like, Vlad, he's like, I I saw mice coming out of my own body. I was like, how can mice live in a human body? I was like, man, this this stuff is not real. I'm like, are you sure you were not on drugs? And so he, the stuff that he was telling me, but you know, Rickard, you've been in Africa, so this is not strange yeah. for those people who've been in Africa. And uh, so I was like, so what happened then? He couldn't walk anymore, but not due to paralysis, due to swollen knees out of nowhere. So they take him to Reinhard Bonke's meeting and they prayed for him for deliverance. Uh, demons come out of him. And he says his, his knees go back to normal. The swelling, he's in front of us, he shrinks. And so uh, he's like, he has a pus that comes out and he starts to walk and no problem whatsoever. And he told me this, he said, he says, they fixed the witch doctor, fixed the paralysis. And, but they also gave me another problem, you know, because really uh, the spiritual people, they don't remove your problems. They replace them. Oh, with, that's good. With problems yeah, you currently so don't have. And so it's just a, yeah. those problems will take a while to manifest. And so, yeah, you might get healed of this, but then you got another problem. And so that's why it's you just should come to Jesus and Jesus doesn't replace problems. He removes them um, in Jesus' name.